I really, really have 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 struggled with it at times. Mm-hmm. Oh, I think we both. I, I, I think think we have struggled all struggled with what am I doing here? Yes, I'm not sure that I love it that much that I would, you know, raise my hands in the hilt and say, you guys are crazy, you should all be doing this. Because it really no. takes a crazy person to do this oh, job. Oh, absolutely. Okay? We're, we're nuts. <laughs> yeah. we're, we're totally off the reservation. We're and, here because we're not all there. Absolutely. Okay? Hi. Welcome to the Modern Waiter Podcast. I'm Marlon Joseph, the Modern Waiter, where we discuss all things restaurant business. Learn something. Laugh at something. <laughs> On today's episode, we are answering questions that you always wanted to ask your server. Ooh. But first, the intro. I'm tired of working deadbeat jobs for lame pay. I'm tired of getting fired and hired the same day. If you know the rules of the game, then you'll stay. As usual, I'm joined by my good friend, Danny DeVilla. What's up, what's up, what's up, people? Listen, this, uh, I get a lot of questions, especially okay. from, 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 not just guests, but regulars. Because okay. regulars get personal. Yeah. You know, they, they want to know certain things. They want to know the inside story, mm-hmm. the, the, the behind the scenes and the scoop. Yeah. And so personal questions that come up all the time. And I get emails, I get uh, messages, and people want to know. So we're going to answer those like questions it. right now. Why did you become a full-time waiter? You asking me? Well, both of us. Okay. So I'm looking at you, kid. All right. So my reasoning was it gave me flexibility. Mm-hmm. You know, I was when I was younger, and you know, I still I love the flexibility of it, but it changed over the years. What the reason was, but my original reason was my dad actually told me, "Go, man, you have a really good gift of talking to people." Mm-hmm. He said you should go work in the restaurant. So I did. Yeah. And and I had loved the ability to have cash on hand, um, and it was fast, flexible money. You know, and I ended up growing into it. And then from there, I was doing music, and I love music, and it gave me the ability to travel because mm-hmm. I could take the skill with me anywhere. Yes. I could do my music and make money almost anywhere I was going. So it was great. Um, and from there, I ended up coming to South Florida, um, came for school, okay. kept doing it, and was leveling up across the way as I was going. Yes. You know what I mean? And then I got to a point where I, you know, I went through school and everything, and when I got out of school, I was like, man. You know, I make good money, you know. <laughs> That's and, the trap. That's and, the bear trap. Yes. And my starting off salary in the position I wanted to do for school was half of what I was making already. And by this point, I already had, I had just had my child. Mm-hmm. So it was like, do I start all over or do I find a way to keep doing what I'm doing and integrate it into what I like to do already? Yes. And that's where we're at now. You, you've you touched upon a lot I, that I can imagine that I've heard other people mm-hmm go through their reasons why they're still, not still, but they've chosen to be uh, a full-time waiter. And you hit the student thing, you hit the transition thing that's really, really tough to break Mm -hmm. because yes, there is a ceiling. Yeah. But it's a high floor. It is. It's a high floor. you, you You can make a livable wage. You can be happy. Yes. And I find happiness to be more important than any amount of exuberant wealth. I've done this thought exercise a lot because I really, really have 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 struggled with it at times. Mm-hmm. Oh, I think we both. I, I, I think have we all have struggled with what am I doing here? Yes, I'm not sure that I love it that much that I would, you know, raise my hands in the hilt and say, "You guys are crazy. You should all be doing this." Because it really no. takes a crazy person to do this. Oh, job. absolutely. Okay, we're, we're nuts. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We're, we're totally off the reservation we're then, here because we're not all there absolutely okay also it's important to know that when 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 we're working we're on that rat race when mm-hmm. we're doing our lives and let's let's just compare it to an office job you go to your office job and you want to build wealth mm-hmm. and and so you also want to have enough to retire. Yes. Okay. I have seen it way too many times that people at 60, 65, 70 have given most of their lives to their job. Mm -hmm. And now they have time and money to do whatever. And they don't know who they are. They don't know what to do with themselves. And they're at the end of their, they haven't taken care of themselves. They're out of there. They got 10, maybe, 
you know, we don't know how much time they have, but they, they're, they're limited. Yeah, they, we don't know how much time they have, but what are they doing with that time? Yes. They, you go on vacation and things like that. So my thought exercise was no amount of money can buy any amount of time. time. Yes. And so I have always had the thought of retire now, work later. <laughs> I've, I, I think people are nuts. If they want to work now and retire later, I get I you're going to think I'm crazy and say, oh, you got to have money for, for later. When you have money for later and you don't have the health and you don't have the experiences and you don't know how to travel and you don't know how to you haven't built any skills. Mm -hmm. You don't know how to golf. You don't know how to do anything and take care of yourself mentally and spiritually. Woo. When that job goes away and your purpose dies, you're gone. My whole point is find your purpose now. Yes. And so I, I personally am in my position as a full-time server because I feel like I have bought myself that time. Mm -hmm. That time that I would have otherwise dedicated to building wealth. And, and you want to basically buy time. Yeah. Whether you're buying other people's time and leveraging it as your business that's the whole point. Mm -hmm. It's not a foolproof plan. You're you're flying by the seat of seat of your plan, pan, pants. However, that's my philosophy: is that I really want to develop myself mm -hmm. mentally and spiritually and physically. And find the best you. And find the best me, so I can retire well. Mm -hmm. I can retire in a good, good space. Mind space. Yes. I can. I I know how to golf, and I could do that. I. I've gone out golfing with dudes in their 90s. So they have really transferred something that they could do and love to do in their yeah. life. I know how to travel now All so right. I could travel later. Absolutely. So that uh, I, as I travel far and wide when I'm later, I could, if I'm, I'm in, uh, in less health, I can travel less. Mm -hmm. Towards uh, my dad's end, he couldn't go overseas because he had to get dialysis. So he couldn't travel there. But he traveled worldwide when he when he, he was could, able yeah. mm -hmm. and so that that for me is why i do this because it affords me flexibility of time absolutely i do not work full-time in the restaurant anymore but it gives me full-time money if that makes any sense absolutely i'm in the same boat as you yeah next question would be who is the worst customer you have ever seen <laughs> Like a bad customer experience. Oh, man. I... There's so many. There's so many. <laughs> I'll answer mine like this. Uh, I have had so many bad uh, experiences. I can categorize who the worst type of person to yes, work on, absolutely. to wait on. It's the person that tries to control everything. Mm -hmm. They try to, t to manage the table themselves. You do not work here. No. OK, don't tell me how to how, oh, how to do something or how it should be ran. Yes. Or if you wanted to run, run your own restaurant. Exactly. And I dealt with that kind of guest not that long ago. And those are the type of guests that have to micromanage everything. Yeah. And say, oh, he wants this and he wants that. What? 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 Let him talk. I think I might have told you about this. I remember I told you about the guy who had said. Uh, he goes, he's something about my service. He goes. I only see you like every five to 10 minutes. I need you here every three minutes. And I looked at him like he was absolutely nuts. Then you're a terrible server if yeah. you have to do that. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and that's so funny because everybody has their own idea of what good service is. Absolutely. So you, 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 he needs something every three minutes? I don't know. He yeah. wasn't getting it every three minutes, so it didn't really matter. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody should need something every three minutes. Enjoy the time who you're with and who you're with. There's only one way you get me back to the table every three minutes. <laughs> There's a 20 in your hand every three, three minutes. minutes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll come back and get that pellet. You must be out of your what, mind. What do you need next? <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's not how this works. That's not how this works. I have a whole station. Yeah, there's other people that need things. You're not the <laughs> only one here. If you wanted that kind of stuff, go get bottle service somewhere where you got one, you know. Go you get do? a lap dance. Go get a lap dance. <laughs> personal touch. Pay for that three minutes. Yeah. $20, $25 at a time. Absolutely. Uh, and being specific as the worst guest that I've ever had, that that is tough. I've yeah, had people like try it. to fight me. 
and I suppose that would be the worst. And it's not just one, so I can't even it's pick one. Times, it's multiple times, yeah. It's an award for a category <laughs> of people. Oh, God, yeah. Yeah, I can't. Do you I can't. remember? Mike Green had to deal with this one lady. You were there, yo. It was, um, and she was like fighting people, yo. We had to sit this lady down. We ended up taking her out the restaurant. I don't remember. Yo, she, and she kept, she, she was screaming that she was a lawyer. And she was like belligerent. I barely remember. <laughs> oh my gosh, my worst, my worst customer. I, I'll, I'll answer I'll it like this. I'll walk away the situation. It was earlier in my uh, career? restaurant career, and so I had a lady in a wheelchair, and she was mean. <laughs> She was so mean. One of those people that thinks that she can do and say anything. anything. And and she was very flippant with me. And at the you know and this was early on in, in, in our interaction. I don't think she got food from me yet. And she waved her hand and she said, uh, she goes, and you can get me uh, coffee, something like that. And I was like, okay. And then her food came. And then she says to me, get away from me. I'm trying to eat. I, I forgot what I said, but I, I pretty much checked her right there at the table. And then she goes, well, let me see your manager. And I said, I will get my manager. And when he comes, tell him that I said, I'm not going to take any more of your shit. <laughs> She said what you said to me, and I repeated it. I went over to him, and I told him exactly what I said to her. I'm not taking any more of her shit, because I was going to knock her ass out of that wheelchair. <clears throat> because at some point, when it comes personal, yeah. you got to be careful who you're talking to. Absolutely. Because people in the restaurant business will love to roll a person, yeah. because they have a lot of you they, know, they pent got, up yeah, anger. You make them, yes. You know? <laughs> I don't have it now, because I, I know how to channel myself, yeah. and I'm, I'm, you know... I'm not in my in 20s, so yeah. I don't really have the and I'm in a good yeah, place. Yeah. But there are a lot of people that aren't in a good place. place. There yeah. are a lot of people. You don't know who you're dealing with. You don't know who you're dealing with. There are some people that can't wait to kill some yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, there are some people uh, that are not quite stable in the restaurant business. So you better be careful. Ju ju don't let the uniform fool you. Yeah. Don't let Real the uniform quick. fool you. <laughs> yeah, people <laughs> challenge you in a very personal way. Right? Yeah. And I've had people try to fight me. I've had people talk to me in a certain way. But you're definitely right. It's definitely a certain type of guest. Because every time when I go back in my mind, I'm thinking about, at, at this, as you're talking about in the stories, those are the same kind of guests. They're the ones that are controlling, want to do something. Doing the most. Doing the most. Slow down, Lucky. Yeah, just, you're here no, for a reason. Yeah, chill. Get waited on. Relax. Absolutely. And then when things go off the rails, then you talk. Then, then you, you have speak up. Yeah. And, and then I'm, and, and at that point, I'm probably right, right. I'm right there with you. I want you to have a good, you know, experience. Of course, that's yeah. why this is why we're, we're here. here. <laughs> have you ever given out your phone number? <laughs> <laughs> I plead the fifth. <laughs> <laughs> that's not bad. Yes, obviously. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay. And I I have but for me it it has to be in it, already a connection. Oh no! I mean, you have to connect. It, yeah, it, it ain't like oh, give me a call. Oh like, no! You know. Like you mean like like corny? Like oh no no! There has there's no. Why would anybody ever give a phone number unless there's a connection? Hey, what now, was that? How, what how, was that you just how said? Let me flip it. Have you ever received a phone number and didn't think you were gonna get one? So all the time. Boom. Okay. Every time I get it, it's a surprise. Honest to God. Okay. Because sometimes you think you're gonna get it and you don't. Yeah. I've gotten numbers every time. I'm shocked. Yeah. Because it's like. Okay, this person's older, or this person's married. Oh yeah, or like, this what's person, going on? Oh, what? Oh, you didn't even have that conversation. Yeah, you know, you're like, whoa. Okay, <clears throat> getting from dudes, getting from girls, girls, all the above. Always surprised. Always surprised. <clears throat> and, and I, I don't call. <laughs> Why would you? I mean? Yeah, because it's like I'm shocked. We yeah, didn't make and, a connection. And, and, unless there's a connection, there's no reason to call. Unless there's a purpose. You True. know, like, hey, oh, yeah, I like, need like, this. Like, like or... a transaction. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You but know, that's totally different. Yeah. To me, that's yeah. different. That's yeah. not, that's, either you're talking that's about on a personal level. That's not looking penub in all the wrong places. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay. What we got next? Uh, have you ever spat in someone's food? No, that's disgusting. Yeah, that's, listen. That's trifling. Plus. That's, it, that's some movie shit, people. It's important to know that I've never seen it. Yeah, that's some movie shit. I've never, have I ever heard of it? I've never heard of it really. 
That's and just I've been nasty. doing this for a long time. That's just nasty. Plus, listen, what goes around comes back around. Yeah, man, and you're not even worried about him on that kind of level, yo. It's more of, yeah, it's fine. I, yeah. I never. I, yeah, I think that's more of like an exaggerated. Dude, that's a movie shit. Yeah. 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 What's your biggest weakness when serving? Excellent question. Mm. What's yours? Just so I can, I can kind of get a gauge. Where <laughs> <laughs> My biggest weakness is is sometimes I get tunnel vision. Okay. It's not. It doesn't happen often because I, I'm very aware that. I got to serve everybody and, you know, run my station as a whole and things like that. And then every once in a while, it comes it comes down into this narrow focus and I don't see that table that's in my station. Mm -hmm. You know, that particularly this usually happens when it's when it's slow. OK. You know, when it's slow and I'm sat yeah. and I don't realize it. And and it could be right next to the table. I I'm just it walk just walk like, right by him the whole time. Walk right by him the whole time. It's almost like, am I am I? What's going on? Yeah, am I losing chromosomes? Wake up. Like, <laughs> am I losing brain cells? I, yeah, I I could get tunnel vision sometimes. Like I said, doesn't happen often. Or or if I'm engaged in something with someone, and then you just start the 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 tunnel just gets longer and longer, and you don't see. Or I, I want to just take care of something right away, and I go and, and do and only it takes that. Too much time, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you lose. Then you actually lose track of that. What you you might have been like, okay, I know I gotta go talk to that person. Yes, but I'm gonna do it this real quick. That real quick turns into a few minutes. Then you go, then you're already in the tunnel and you're like, oh, you talk to everybody else. And they're like, holy shit. Yeah, you forgot about this. Now it's been 10 minutes, okay? And you've <laughs> yeah. dropped the ball. Yes, and okay. you've dropped the ball. I mean, I, I would say that as well. And like you said, it, it's very rare that it does happen. And most of the time you can, you you know what's going on, but you just, you get in the tunnel. I, I, I get it by the day. Do you really? Yeah, especially because I, my, my days come in chunks. Mm -hmm. So then by the time I go back to my first shift, I'm out of practice. <laughs> so I feel like, because I tend to unload. I don't think about work when I'm not at work. You shouldn't. I, I just don't. So then when I come back, I got to get back in. I got to start yeah. that lawnmower up. People, it's so funny. I'll be out with people and they'll be talking about work. And I'm like, mm -hmm. why are you guys talking about this place, yeah. Joe? Doesn't matter. We, we're done. Yeah, we're we, done. We left that behind us for the day. We are done for the day. Let's just, let's just Agreed. not. Agreed. And, yeah. and, and, and you know what? The restaurant is running just fine without you. Yeah. If anything is built to keep on moving at all costs, it's a restaurant. Yeah. They're not waiting for you. No. It might it might run better when you're there. When you're there, but I'm telling you It'll this. It'll still run. Them doors is going to open just the same. Mm -hmm. They're going to fill them seats. They're going to fill that slot and somehow It'll it, still run. It, it'll still it, it run. It might not run like you said. It might not run as efficient. It might not have that smooth sexiness when you're yes. in the building, how you feel like it's the way it should run, but yes. it's going to run. <laughs> it's going to run. Have you ever had a dine and dash? Of course. Yes. I mean, they're far few in between now, mm -hmm. but yeah, of course. I mean, you know, yeah. it is what it is. That's part of the, I mean, that's it's like gas and going back in the day when you actually get free gas. People used to. <laughs> gas and go. Wow. <laughs> As we go through this list, if there's something that you, we, we miss, let us know. Let us know in the comments if you're on YouTube or if you're listening. You know, jot down the email, themodernwaiter at gmail.com or follow me on Instagram at the Modern Waiter Podcast. Give us a like, subscribe, Boom. and give us some feedback. And uh, here we go. Have you ever slept with a coworker? <laughs> trick question, trick question. <laughs> a better question is who hasn't? <laughs> I tell people all that. I mean, when we'll be at like I've been to places and you know you'll hear girls say, uh, you know, I don't like the shit where I sleep or yeah, yeah, blah, yeah. blah blah blah. And I and I look at them and I go, yeah, okay. Eighty percent of relationships either happen in the workplace mm -hmm. or from college, okay, or, yes. or from school. Yes, because you have common interest. Mm -hmm. You know, you're interested. You obviously work together, so you have interests that are aligning and you have things in common. That is why, and you're together a lot more times than most people. So. Of where else are you going to find? Those are the people that you get to know. No, absolutely. And let me tell you something. Those people who don't shit where they eat, they're making a rule because they already did it. Absolutely. They made that it's already mistake. Happened already. It already happened it's already. It already happened already. already. So that means, so, yeah, so everybody's done it. <laughs> everybody's done everybody's it. Everybody's done it. Everybody has done it. Absolutely. I'm sorry. It doesn't, yeah. 
I haven't met a person who hasn't done it. I want to know who else. I want to who hasn't. Okay. <laughs> yes. Obviously. Yeah. Exactly. What's the craziest thing you ever witnessed at a table? I don't, there's so much shit. Yo. <laughs> there, there is so much shit. <laughs> That's so open ended. What's the craziest shit you've ever witnessed at I a don't table? Even remember anymore? Um, a week ago, uh, I, she was an older lady. She peed in her seat. <laughs> didn't move. Now I've see I, I was gonna say something along those lines, but I didn't want to go gross. I did, and it, and I felt bad for the guy. I've seen mm-hmm. I've seen somebody poop themselves and then have to walk to the bathroom. You see it dripping out their pants, and I felt so bad for the person. That's that yeah, that's bad. But then if you pee and you don't even and yeah. just sat there, Ooh. okay. And we and the waiter just like kind of walked on the other side and just kept it moving, kept waiting on. Him. I was like, are you serious? I'm serious. Nuts. I've seen people puke at the table. Oh yeah. Now, my real answer involved you, the, the wildest thing I've ever what seen at it? a table. When the customer punched the other customer in the face. Yeah! <laughs> that was good, yo. I remember that table, yo. <laughs> they Man. weren't even at the same table, yo. They weren't even at the same yo, they table. they were right next to right each next other. Right next to each other. Okay. Guys on a date. date. Yo. Challenging four guys. guys. Not even challenging, just speaking up, hey, keep it down or whatever. And he stood up. Part the way he, he didn't even get out of his seat, got rocked in front of his girlfriend, yeah. sat down, did nothing, started yelling at <laughs> other people how good they let that happen. <laughs> and man, I just looked at Danny. I was like, "Oh, she breaking up with him." Yeah, that was nuts. I saw, I saw, yeah, her nuts. like just go, mm, "Can't be with this can't guy." Be with, no, I'm done. Yeah, we broke up. We yeah. just broke up. <laughs> <laughs> that is classic. Yeah, that's the. Do you eat off of guests' plates? No. I know a guy that does. Me too. We're not going to throw one on the bus. No, we're not. <laughs> I No. Unless it's not been, like it's the wrong food, you know, like I'm coming back with the wrong food untouched. Oh, you know, like it's never touched? Well, that's, that's yeah. not eating off a guest's plate then. That's just the that's Oh, that's the true. Plate. That's true. That's true. It means you dropped, you went to the table and they said, this is not mine. Yeah. And that's totally different. I see it. I still see it. I see. Yes, I, <laughs> I still see it. Whew. Gross. Yeah. I have a few more. One, two, three, four, five more. Okay. Have you ever uh, served food that fell on the floor? <laughs> you took too long. You took too long. I had to think about it. No, I don't think I. Have. Oh, you don't think you have? I know you have. <laughs> just that, just that long, like you kind of looked up. You're like, I know the answer, but I shouldn't say it. <laughs> Here's a confession. Stuff hits the floor all the time. Okay? That's all I'm going to say. Stuff hits the floor all the time. I think the difference is, is what floor does it hit? Does it hit? I like I've seen it because if it hits the back ground, line if floor, it's the ground ground, no, I've never done that. There's no ground inside. I'm talking about like like the line. Yes, I've been like working on like a line and it fell off the plate. That's not the ground. That's still floor. Grounds outside. True. It, 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 that, okay, the the further away from the kitchen line. Listen, you don't you want, want it to fall in the kitchen. <laughs> that's what I'm, that's my point. That is my point. You don't want it to fall in the kitchen. You don't not want it to fall all. in the kitchen line. Yo. You better replate that. Yeah, it's got to... Replate, remake. Make all the above. Yes. <laughs> at least if it's at the front line, it's better. Yeah, you hope. <laughs> no, it's better. Okay. Trust me, I've seen that. I've seen... <laughs> I have seen that back line. I worked on the back yeah. line. <laughs> Trust me, people. Stuff hits the floor all the time. <laughs> they are not trying... Depending on what it is... Depending on what it is. Depending on what it is, it's getting put back together. It's so uh, listen. I, I can't. I can't. <laughs> what you got next? <laughs> We're going to move on. What's your best trick that you use to get more tips? It's my smile. <laughs> I smile and I laugh and I get more tips. I have a good smile. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I, I, that, that to me is a... Uh, it's an odd question. Yeah. Because it would assume that your tip hangs on one thing. thing. Yeah. 
It really doesn't. There, there's, uh, there, there's things that I would do that you wouldn't do. You would do that I wouldn't do. But it's just a multitude of things. It's your that, whole persona that gives you the tip. The persona and your performance yeah. and your ability to orchestrate a good time. Absolutely. And the if, vibe. If you give out the vibe. And if you give out the vibe. Important to note that there is a law of reciprocity that happens that's been studied for in in the tipping mm -hmm. world where <clears throat> i forget the percentage it could be 13 percent more it's it, it's along those lines if you give a mint to someone at the end of the meal while presenting the check mm -hmm. your ch people uh servers that do that their their tips are up <coughs> by as much as whatever that percentage is. Oh, wow. And it's a very popular experiment. I've seen it before, yeah. Because it, it goes on the law of reciprocity. It's like you gave a gift. You give a gift and you get something back, back. or you ask something small and you get something in return. Mm -hmm. Those things happen. And we may be doing it, whether it's advice that you give a table and things like that, but trust me. And so the experiment was, was, um, was furthered by when the check was presented, you present the check and you put the mint on, that's for you, one per person or whatever. And then they, they walk away and stop and return again, give an extra, they got an extra on top of the th oh. extra 13%, they got an extra 5% or something like that wow. over the norm, yes. And so one thing I would say that does, it also gives a connection, but it doesn't, necessarily tell you what the performance was before mm -hmm. okay so it's important to know you can't give bad service and then give a mint and, and yeah. salvage anything but it's it's that it's that fine it's that icing on the cake it's the icing on the cake and so what you're really leaning on is something that when someone gives you something, it's really like a confidence man or, mm -hmm. or somebody on the street they they want to sell you something they put it in your hands yeah or they give you a small gift like like going to Vegas, and you get those uh, those fake Buddha people, mm -hmm. uh, not Buddha monks, yeah, and they try to give you that that cheap bracelet, yeah, and they ask for a donation. They gave you something, something. in return for something back. Correct, and that thing costs you know cents, and the uh, average about, tip yeah. is is not tip, but the average dollar, donation dollar, is yeah, five, five bucks. Yeah. yeah, exactly. They killed it. They killed it. So you got your smile. Uh, what is the most disgusting thing you've ever seen in the kitchen? Too many to answer. Yeah. I, I don't even want to talk about it. That made me throw up. I've seen some bad stuff. Yeah. And you've been on both sides of the line. I've been on both sides of the line. Actually, having to clean, I, I owned a cleaning company for many years. And I, I, I stopped taking restaurant cleans because it was just too disgusting. The grease traps. Mm. The the hoods, mm -hmm. the floor, the underside of the mm -hmm. um oh, man. Of, of 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 the grills and things like that. I mean, man, because it's a machine. Yeah, remember, it's a machine, yo. Yo, some of them don't even turn off this machine. Yo, exactly, it's twenty four seven. So you gotta you gotta clean on the fly. Mm -hmm. The most disgusting thing I've ever seen. It's it's probably things that have fell behind stuff, and then you finally find it. Later. Oh. <clears throat> Because you guys do that big cleanup uh, once oh, yeah. a year, mm -hmm. and you find stuff. You You're find like, stuff. oh, hiding, hiding, it, yeah. With schmegma. Oh, I have the answer. The soda machine, not the fountain machine, like mm -hmm. the 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 thing with the gun mm -hmm. and the underside side of that. It's usually next to a lot of moisture. Usually right next to the ice bin. Mm -hmm. The underside of that, foul, 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 foul. and then stuff will fall into the the mm -hmm. ice. Right yeah, foul. foul, yeah. No bueno. It's to the point where <laughs> when we do a uh, when we do our shift drinks and we go grab ice. We go in the back <laughs> where the ice machine is. We're not even touching the stuff from the from yeah. the well. All the way in the back. In the scuba. In the scuba. Yo, from the ice machine, yeah. not from yeah. the ice like no. holder. No. You, you, you know what I'm talking about? Them. Yeah. From the machine in Yo. the back of the restaurant. I, I when I go out, 
it's not like I say don't ice because you just got to, it's a trust fall. Oh, yeah. It's a trust fall. But let me tell you something, them ice buckets, whatever, ice holders, ice wells are the most disgusting things in the entire restaurant. They can be for sure. Are. <laughs> not can be, are. <laughs> Nasty. We, we have two more and then we're going to let you go. Okay. Uh, what, do you, what have you learned about dating? From being in the restaurant business, from being a server, actually. Oh, um, a lot actually. Patience, um, being able to read a room or read a situation. Okay. Um, because you 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 watch people fail on dates all the time. You mm-hmm. watch, you know, you see where people go wrong. You you can almost you can almost. And the funny thing is, if you apply it, okay, to your own life, but you can almost like watch it like a movie and tell it before it happens. Once you get to a certain point. What's your advice? As a waiter, what's your advice for people on dates in a restaurant? Just enjoy yourself, man. Because you've seen them fail. What's yeah. your fail? What, how oh, do they avoid their failure? It depends fa- on the situation. Point. There's a lot of different re- reasons why people fail. Okay. You know, you can't just get, nothing is ever one sided, nothing is ever one thing. Okay. You know, what do you, you see the you most? To, give give some give the people a, 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 a nugget. Just, like let's say they're hammered. You know, let's say their girl's hammered mm-hmm. and then she's sloppy or he's sloppy and they're just belligerent and it's it's embarrassing. Okay. You've seen we've all seen that. Okay. Um, or sloppy sucks, especially on a date. Mm-hmm. You never want to be too sloppy. Mm-hmm. Uh, being rude. Uh, all right. I'll, I'll 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 give you mine. Okay. The thing that I see a lot. Is you ever heard the phrase when your sale is made, stop selling? Oh yeah, yes. They you, sell you, too you, much. You do it too much. They sell too yes. much. I've had a girl tell me one time. This is years ago. Okay, mm-hmm. she goes, "You already got it." <laughs> Shut up. And it was the best advice I had ever gotten. Yo, I closed the deal. It was amazing. Yes, and- I, I needed that. Okay, sometimes you just got to step back. Don't talk yourself out of it, fellas. <laughs> Sometimes I, uh, you've already I got it. Half the they, time. they 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 stay too long. Yeah, you've already talked yourself out of it. They talk themselves out of it. You're on the date. You le- you let the thing go, but then and you're having a legit good you're time. Having a great time. But then they stay Stand too it. long. You extend it instead of going. Yes, and you got to go. Even yeah. if you go somewhere else. like to another restaurant yeah. or another bar, you got to keep it moving. You got to keep it moving. Keep and, it and I see it all the time where they they start to dive into and dive and dive and go and it's go and much. go, and then they lose it. They good night. It. You yeah. know what I mean? Like you got to transition. You, you had them there too long. You didn't get it. You didn't keep it moving. You got to move. You got to close. Get them back to the house. <laughs> <laughs> Coffee is for closers. Yes. <laughs> okay. They couldn't close. And and is also in doing that, mistake number two, like you said, sloppy, they get they, they get, get each other too drunk. Yeah. You know, like you can't, you can't, you get, you want to get nice. You want to be happy. You want to be happy. Yeah. But you can't be sloppy. No. Because then you're taking care of them. It's, it's too much. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. So doing too much on a date. Do just enough, and and when you think you've done just enough, actually, right before you think you've done just enough, just stop. You have to have a sense of timing. Yeah. And more is too much. much. Less is more. Less is more. Less Absolutely, is more. I see it all the time. They they try to do this, and oh, we can, and you wave them off, and you wave them off, and then you just talk. You talking yourself out, out of it. it. You already you already messed it up. You you already you got it. You had it. <laughs> you had it. You had it. Now she's just like yep. oh, and I see them, and and they get left. Yeah, because it's they, just, they don't know how to stick the landing. Nope. Work on that landing. That is the most important part. Close the deal. Close the deal. Now, we went with the uh, what's your worst uh, trait. What is your greatest strength as a server? Um, multitasking, being efficient, and not being clouded by what's going on. Okay, that's a lot. That's <laughs> um, because I see people all the time. They, you know, we have to multitask. Mm-hmm. Okay, it's what we do. Um, one of my gifts is being able to compartmentalize without stressing out about it. You yeah, know, where I know all these things need to be done, but at the same time, I'm not gonna freak out getting you know it's you're all gonna get to the same point at the same amount of time regardless whether you're freaking out running around remember uh our one of our very good friends who passed away shababi mm-hmm. yeah amazing server yes would be in the weeds the whole fucking shift okay <laughs> would be running around yes. in a circle yes okay for no reason yeah 
all you have to do is step back, mm -hmm. breathe, you know, take care of what you need to take care of, keep it moving. Yes. You you, you do one thing at a time equals up to five, the five, ten things you need to do. In the yes. Area. Yes. And that's would be my best advice for anybody out there. Okay. You, you, the weeds don't exist. You put yourself in them half the time. It does exist. It, it, it's the weeds. The weeds are really a culmination of things. Yes. You know, and for me, my best, my greatest strength of a, uh, as a server is, is just being able to prioritize. Mm -hmm. That's, that's mine. And, and, and it ties into other things, but if you're able to reshuffle the deck constantly, it, it's yeah. a constant reshuffle because things float to the top. Absolutely. All the time, mm -hmm. uh, you know, if if you have to go get that drink, but then somebody asks you for a fork, that drink goes down. Yes, that fork they, goes they up. Eat. They need to eat, mm -hmm. and it has to be done without you. You can't do it on the way to anything. No, that is a direct mm -hmm. order. Do not. And you can and and if you're good at what you do, and you, you know, I find you can also delegate little things. Like yes. if you're if you have the ability, you have a good you have a good relationship with your with your coworkers. If you need to go get that fork and you know that drink's there, hey, can you grab that drink, bring it to the XYZ while I'm dropping off this fork? This keeps you moving and flowing in the same kind of pace. And once you understand all that, you're good to go. Yeah. So prioritizing. And I also keep my head uh, very well. Yeah. And so Roy, the ninja, I don't know how he does it. He's, I've never same seen speed. him. I've never seen him move fast. Ev well, <coughs> not not. Not in the restaurant anyway. No, not running. Yes. Yeah. I've never seen him shuffle faster than he's got one speed. speed. Uno. And we're working the same place, so we have the same... Mentality. Not just mentality, but the same amount of busy. Yes. Okay? So he's my idol when it comes to, to being level-headed. Yeah. Because he always is in control, always just never... And I've moved my feet before mm -hmm. because... Sometimes some you Sometimes. gotta be like, oh, yeah. oh, I gotta move quick. Yeah, nobody. It's just a one speed, and that's a compliment. I love it. I love it. And so, if 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 you enjoy our show, give us a like. Yes, definitely share the show. Mm -hmm. It helps us to grow. It helps us to do grow. this. It gives yeah. us wind beneath our Absolutely. wings. Absolutely. And uh, let's see some reviews. Yes, if you people. don't mind. Give us a review. Let us know how we're doing. Tell a friend. Tell a friend. Give us five stars. Tell a friend to tell a friend. <laughs> yes. This is our this is our growth phase right yeah. now. We've been working on this for a long time, and we do enjoy doing it. So we're going to be back next week. You know it. I'm Marlon Joseph, the moderator. I'm Danny Villain. Subscribe, 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 people. We'll see you next time. Later. Rolling, rolling, home in our stuff we go.